Annika was born with amniotic banding. Her arm was short. Her hand didn't form correctly. It looks like it's still in vitro. My name is Albert Monero, and I'm the founder of Limitless Solutions, which is a nonprofit based here at the University of Central Florida, and we're dedicated to providing bionic arms and bionic solutions for children around the world at absolutely no cost to their families. We first met Annika a couple months ago, and her story really resonated with the team, and the team wanted to be able to help her. Here at UCF, we use our Dimension Elite Series uh, printer from Stratasys, and it uses fused deposition modeling to be able to print in ABS plastic. And one of the benefits of this, um, compared to other traditional methods, is that it has excellent UV resistance and um, increased strength. We were able to show Ani the different prototypes that we had in the lab, and then talk to her about her favorite color or superhero movie, and anything that would help us get to know her a little bit better and design a custom solution, especially for her. The first time I saw the Dolphin Tail movie, I was very happy, because we're both different in many ways. That's what makes us alike and special. When I got to meet Winter, she is adorable. I've always had a thing for dolphins, and she's probably like the top dolphin I've ever seen before. I love flowers, I love the color blue and green, so they put like little polka dots here, and they made beautiful flowers, pink and white, all sorts of colors, and I just think it's beautiful. The advantage of Stratasys 3D printing is the fact that we are able to build different pieces in any shape and form that we want. For Annie, that was particularly beneficial since her natural geometry was a little bit different. So we were able to build an electronic housing for our components, specifically for her. We're hoping that Annie will have more freedom in her life and zipping up her clothes, pulling the strap on the seatbelt, brushing your hair. Simple things that you and I don't think of. So for me, when, when Annie saw her arm for the first time and she had these tears in her, in her eyes and she came over and hugged me and she hugged the team and uh, the team and I, we looked at each other and just quietly kind of thought to ourselves, um, we have to do this and we have to advance this. And so today we're working with Stratasys and with the University of Central Florida to be able to leverage this um, into a much grander scale and that our nonprofit can really um, take on the challenges that are seen around the world and be able to advance the prosthetics industry and the bionics industry um, and hope that no child around the world who's in need should have to pay for a bionic arm. This thing is a perfect example of how students can see how what they do, how the math, the science, the electronics, it actually has real applications in the world. And they can see the, the effect that engineering has on people's lives and how it can change people's lives forever. It's beautiful. I mean, who wouldn't want it?